All right, so good morning. I don't know if you can see my face. My phone's acting up, but I reached 252 subscribers today, and I just thought that was a great number, so I decided to look it up. And like I said, I don't play with numbers a lot, but I have the day off, and I'm um, relaxing, enjoying the snowfall and the quiet time. And uh, just my subscriptions have gone up greatly, and not huge, but I mean, it's always nice to have them go up and so finally they're above 250 they're 252 and then I went to um, Bible Hub and Strong's Concordance on the computer to see what the numbers are because the Gematria calculators ironically aren't working but anyway uh, I was just having fun so let's put in 252 first I have to flip it this way now hopefully you saw somewhat of my face And so then what it does is it takes you to a page. And then what the um, the Greek or the uh, Hebrew word that might be associated in the Bible with that. And so here we have it's salt. Briny salt. Briny almost sounds like my name, Brian, but that's just silliness. But anyway, uh, and then up came James 3.12. And so you can go to the Bible, and then you can see what that is. And so, just for shoots and shugles, is James three twelve. Can a fig tree, my brethren, produce olives, or a vine produce figs? No. Nor can salt water produce fresh. And so you must be what you are, and you cannot be what you aren't. So I thought that was great. And then um, I decided for the fun of it to do my birthday. You can't do a full birthday because the numbers are too long. But my birthday is July 18th. So that would be 718. Harmozo. Sounds like harmony. To join or to fit together. A carpenter fastening together beams, planks, to build a house. Uh, and also, ironically, to betroth a daughter to anyone. And remember, we're all waiting for the um, the marriage supper of the, the lamb. You know, we are the bride. And so I thought that was kind of telling. For I am a jealous God, whoops, a jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. So I was like, wow, if that doesn't sound like the um, the wedding feast at the end of time, I don't even know. And I still, I probably wouldn't have shared all this, but what happened is I was like, oh, well, what's, um, what's my, my wife's birthday is actually July 16th. So what's 716? Harma, neuter, a chariot of war chariots armed with scythes, chariots drawn with many horses. And then the last one from Revelation 9. And they had breastplates, as it were, breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the great sound of chariots. And of many horses running to battle. 
And so I was like, oh, well, that's kind of crazy. Um, because I've been seeing a lot of um, talk of the locusts of the pit. The locusts of the pit. And so I said, well, that's all very fun. Um, my son was born May 1st. So that's 51. And his name is Osiris. Agnoima. And then ironically, it says, oops, sin that was committed through ignorance and thoughtlessness. And so, yeah, I'm guilty of that. Uh, Cyrus wasn't planned, um, but I love him dearly, but that, you know didn't go too far from it's not you know astrological it's not saying anything about you personally that way but into the second went high priest alone once every year not without blood which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people so i just thought that was fun uh don't know what it means i know we're waiting for the end days but uh Things like that can be pretty silly. But that was my journey, just starting with the number 252. Um, and so I just wanted to share that. Uh, full armor of God, and be at peace, everybody. And love love all your family, uh, and hold them tight, and value them, because days are definitely numbered. Peace.